All right, folks, this is Beano Black 3.9, and it is 2.45 p.m. in the afternoon. I think this happened not too long ago. Let me look at the USGS map real fast, and this 5.1 was up there in Alaska, 5.1 over in Hawaii, and we got Earth rotating the wrong way because Earth rotates like this. Keep everything in people's minds of how things work, okay? Helio Viewer is back up, but the idea that we still get way better shows from Soho, the idea that uh, we get great shows from Helio, don't get us wrong, Helio Viewer is awesome. The idea, basically, it just basically shows us the flame action, which, yeah, if everybody wants to get into watching that, exactly where the solo flares are and so forth and so on. It's all awesome, but Soho really gets back and shows us stuff we want to see in space, also at the same time as looking at the sun. So Helio Viewer, great, awesome, you back up. There's a good symposium on talk of heliophysics from a guy on there. Okay, current fresh view of... And you just look at that and you will kind of fall asleep. Not really much there, right? I mean, sun's flaring like crazy, right? We see that. Sun's flaring like crazy. Uh, check out some zooms I did yesterday. Awesome stuff. And let's look at two real fast. Two's where we get a lot better show because it shows us a lot of the material of the supergiants. And yes, folks, that's the backside of the sun. And there is a crap load of supergiants material around hitting the sun, rubbing up against the sun, banging in the sun, going over the sun. Rigel Cantarus B has moved in front of the sun for quite a while now and we also have another object that people are trying to blow smoke up my ass telling me mercury's on fire and moving from right to left in a front view of the sun okay so we're going to see if that's right or wrong okay and we got a guy over in england that kind of helps us out because the idea that they end up with the meteor shower out of leonoid but you also got to look when we look at go at uh, our fire information in a little bit they mention Leonoid, but they got some of them that they don't know where they're coming from because they don't mention where they came out of yet, okay? So, and like some of the major scientists all over the world, and the one thing is, is make sure to remember that the one I'm going to show you and go to my website, my Beano Black, and you are going to see a close object that comes on the 20th that is 1 point something K, I think, and very damn fast, and it's listed on RSOE. To go there, but these guys aren't paying attention to it, because I don't know if NASA wants to be too talked about too much. And I.e., I try to post the information of the close come by in the fast speed of it, which is going to be faster and closer than. And also got a couple pictures real fast to show you too of the Royal Oval is hella moving around top and bottom at the same time. So go to spaceweather.com. We love those guys. And the idea that you got lots of information about these close buys. And the idea that there's also some that are awesome and big like this one out of Leonoid. But the idea that I'm going to show you how doggone far away it is, which is hella cool. But the idea that they still lighten up our sky in the middle of the night real fast. And the idea, I number one, this is a guy from England taking this shot. And that's where the moon's at. Okay, It's not up over the Antarctic like some people are making remarks of. Because look, check this photo out. Right there, bango, whammo, boom. And also, we're going to also show you some Nehemiah pictures that are going to show you that everybody that realized what I was showing and what a lot of people have been looking at videos all year long almost down at Palau is the idea that it looks like I've even found some smaller cousins, brothers, sisters, or whatever of this thing because this, there's your time, 1.30 a.m., down there in Antarctic, and that's UTC time on the 19th of November 2011. Let me show you the sky charts to show you that that's not the moon, and that's not the sun. And all the diff disinfo and everything like that, folks, that's not a radar dome. No, it's not. Uh, and e especially for Palau. This isn't Palau, but even here, there is not a gigantic radar dome like that. This moves. You can go there and watch this movie, and you will see this object move. And I'll probably even be able to, at the very end of this or somewhere in the next video, be able to show you this video and show you this moving. And just like the stuff at Palau I'm going to show you, the idea that it's moving objects in space. There's no radar dome. Nice try disinfos. Okay, the fast credibility that I've got is the idea that we move back up here. There is the date and the times, okay, the ballpark that we're looking for on what I just showed you on the picture, and check out the configuration. So the moon is not down there casting a shadow on the South Pole, okay? So it wasn't the moon, and let's check on the sun, which the sun is here, okay? The sun would be there, but the sun's not making a shadow on the South Pole at that time, okay? It does not make a shadow.
i.e. the physical size alone in the idea I just showed you where the moon was at can't be the moon it was too daggone small and it wasn't there and the idea the sun's too damn big to put a shadow like that down there at that time i.e. we know Rigel Cantaris B does not rise we rotate to it the earth rotates to it just like seeing it in Hawaii let's disclose the Hawaii time and show the idea that what we are saying it's not the moon there either some idiot said that oh it's the moon oh what the moon catch fire so watch this movie of mine you'll be amazed just like everybody else it's totally wild that ain't the damn moon i.e. that evening or th the morning of the 15th the idea that at 1 a.m. the bright side is in the east okay that's where the moon was at and the idea not in the west where it basically everything that you see in the video comes up and there's your configuration of that so it's over Gemini and everything like that so ends up in my hometowns bringing up the chart and then if it's in not in the hometown view uh, it would have came up as not in view so basically it was over North America in the AM and not rising so it's not what came up in Hawaii on that video so so basically I'm back to the photos and basically not going to take time looking at people's comments that don't get posted because the idea that I will if they keep on posting idiotic things the idea that uh, this infos and trying to f you know it it's a waste of time and it's a waste of my time but the idea that I'm gonna check to make sure that this stuff is there or not anyway so this is an object that we need explained to us that is coming up at the South Pole at the times we see and also we've already proved in my last video before this one you can check the video in the order of my videos that the idea we prove that there now there's some great filament action we got up there gigantic biggest uh, 8,000 km from end to end sprawl diagonally across the face of the Sun uh, this Leonoid meteor action that everybody's catching and I was going to show you on that and basically I'm going to go to that real fast and show you some of the data that I have and also I saw that this idea that in and also there is our Rigel Cantaris B this is a New Mexico like I will also go to fireball here and the idea that you're going to see in the night sky that that is not the friggin moon this is taken on the evening of the 17th the moon and other objects are not there ie our Nibiru baby blue and Rigel Cantaris B. This is our object that we keep on, and I just showed you in the last video. Go to my video, i.e., I don't make any money on my videos. I'm just showing you the truth, busting balls at NASA and the government, and everybody that doesn't want to show you what's going on in space. Fact that they're fact, fact there, fact there. That means fact there. It's there, goddammit. Fact there. It's not no damn video anomaly. Okay, and watch all these, and everything will bleed the truth that the idea all this stuff's happening. Now, another one, and make sure you watch for 2008 WL4 on the 20th. Big and fast, folks. Go and watch that video. Dagon thing is big, hella fast. It's going to make some quake action and stuff like that. And IE, I don't think it's going to hit. And IE, I also am wondering about the idea that I want to show you the fireball network action, but the idea that that space thing, well, let's go back to that. All right, pulling up space weather again. And make sure you watch, check out Baby Blue. You get a uh, welder's mask. We got rads out there and CPM. And uh, you check this one out. It hasn't been watched a lot because it was just out on, on, on the veterans last holiday. And check it out. It'll show you the truth about uh, RADS and CPM. Uh, lots of information. Try to blast out as much as I can whenever I research stuff. And I don't take money for my videos. And they're all rights kept. Be no black. LLP. L be no black. LLP 503. Uh, let's check this out. 
Okay, folks, and I also want you to go ahead and make sure you check my site out. The idea that I ended up changing my picture, not on purpose, but the idea that they gave us the new updated version of YouTube, and I went to that, did that, and then the idea they automatically, I think they had a glitch on comments, because I know that on the websites that I comment on and we go in and chat with people at and stuff like that, there seemed to be a kind of a glitch. So I don't know if they've got a glitch on their system. Let me know if you see my new version out there also, okay? It's got my shot of the sun over here on the left-hand side. Uh, I show Alan in, but it ends up covered up underneath here, so I'm going to try to find a new picture when they come up with that new background if we go back to it or if they're at that so if you have something on my channel that shows the new let me see it okay back over at spaceweather.com if you pay attention that if you go to the one before this they showed and were saying and i matter of fact i'm going to have a photo i think that i popped of going back through yesterday that the idea they made mentioned that some stuff hit the ground which basically when I looked at fireball didn't make any mention of anything hitting the ground stuff was pretty far away but maybe we did get some asteroids falling and that massive size of space and the objects if we had stuff hit the ground then we're getting the tailings of stuff that's way out there but still there are stuff close and we do really have a something close coming on the 20th that I just showed you which is exactly this because this info here is how close YU55 came okay and then they say something's going to be coming close by in 2028 well it's 2030 if you check the information they might even have something in 2028 we don't know about yet but also this is going to be the closest yet so far on the 20th 2008 WL64 go to JPL and study it alright so yeah I took the picture of the of that on the 17th okay and also, let's go to Fireball, and that's how big it was on the 17th, And but it, that thing is way far out. Okay, haven't put today's in yet, but we should be able to see some today's stuff in a little bit. These are in data real fast, and you can stop and freeze and go to this stuff, okay? The closest thing we got there is 5-something. That's like a half of IU. We had something, I think it's 080 that I'll get up here. You can always go back through this data and stop and skim through. Okay, 316 IU. The big bright one was way back at 900 and some IU. Okay, so we'll see that in a couple of minutes. I guess this was just yesterday's that I showed, the 18th. Uh, so there is something that was at 0810 or something like that. 01, there was actually a 082 something like that on something the last five days so check the last five days because like on the 17th that was the one i think this thing was like 900 i could be wrong but there's a big bright one that was 900 and some odd you out okay so way out and real bright in the sky so humongous way the hell out there okay so also we have the ability now this is you can play this back but this is going to show you as i'm going through the photos fast for time is the idea that i end up we're going to be backing up here and through time right now i'm backing up through time looks like there's two objects here here's an object and here's an object okay antarctica down at palau okay this is way after because if you see the clock it's 2050 utc actually i guess that would be before the uh dark mass comes over okay on the clock okay so we're going back through time and as you'll see it these two objects in the shaded there they end up and you'll just have to go back or get on plow and view it I started seeing it from this here little where they haven't disturbed it and you will see tracks show up because they're out running around in the snow tracks and I don't know if they're trying to do that to cover up us being able to see shadows or if they're trying to make it so you can see shadows bigger but it seems like they're trying to not let us see the shadows okay because they are adding tracks. Matter of fact, I think you'll see it through these shots that tra these tracks get added. So if I go back, they'll disappear. Now, see, this is what began to give you that shadow that I just showed you, okay? If you watch right at that little fluff of snow there, I think I put an arrow in the deal. There, I put an arrow to watch there. And then as you go forward, and you can go back and play through this, that there's two more objects. See how that grows? There's two more objects, and even possibly three or four, as you see on the ground, there they are. I mean, it's impossible, and it's no dog gone. Because the only radar dome they got is right up there, folks. And also, you're going to be able to see, watch this window, because I'm going to show you that at that window, the big, the big blotch appears when we have the one object come over. So I'm going to keep going through the photos, because I know this is all up at Palau. And you can go back and play back and forth through this, because the clock is ticking. And here we are getting down.
Watch next video. Watch the window. There it is. Bam, there it is. Bam, bam. Watch the next video. Watch the next video.